video is brought to you by 101figurine.ro Check out 101figurine.ro to see a large assortment of action figures and statues from your favorite universes. Open the door! We need your help! This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. So I'm a man now. Like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. Can you kill something that big? Hello and welcome back, as always, my name is Laser, and today on the turntable something very special to me indeed, this is the NECA Kratos as he appeared in God of War 4. Now unfortunately for me I didn't get to play God of War 4 because well, <laughs> it requires a PS4 which I do not have but here he is out of the packaging and I gotta say guys, for the price point this guy comes at 20 bucks, MSRP 25 bucks, something along those lines. He looks absolutely phenomenal and we're gonna take a look at all the accessories and all the details NECA managed to cram in into $25. So let's start off with articulation and the accessories will do like kinda head to head at the same time. The head, not a lot of articulation here but look at all that detail. Look how well those eyes are painted in and look at the facial expression and all of the facial features. Again, sometimes I'm simply flabbergasted by what NECA can do for such a low price point. Pity about the articulation, not that great at the head, a little bit from side to side, uh, well, I mean a swivel and that's pretty much it. Now let's move down to the arm section, you will see that sits on a pin hinge. Nothing new for NECA, this is pretty much universal as far as their figures are concerned so it can only go up at about a 90 degree, you also have a bicep swivel and you also have a double jointed elbow with fantastic range of motion. Very nice piece there at the elbow, kind of masking the joint a little bit. You see you have a gaping hole in his arm and that's where this wonderfully sculpted and painted out shield comes in. You got a lot of shading in here, fantastic detail and a slight bit of weathering so it doesn't look brand new. So you simply apply it like so. You just force it in there and it stays firmly secure in place. And don't worry about it here, if you don't want to display him with the shield, you don't have a gaping hole, you have this thing which, well, it's kind of fiddly to get in and it doesn't really stay all that well, but it will cover that side up so you're not gonna be left with a gaping hole. But again, it's not super secure, but to be honest, unless there's an earthquake or you wanna shake your action figure around, then it's gonna stay just fine in place. So, back to articulation. At the wrist, you got a very interesting uh, uh, ball hinge combo. I wanna say you get a little bit from side to side and you get the swivel as well. Good enough, okay? It's good range of motion. I prefer this kind kind of joint over a ball peg any day of the week. Now let's move on to the torso. You do have a joint at the lower part of his abdomen. He can crunch back about that far and crunch forward about that far and of course you will get the side to side as well. I'm not sure what that joint is. Might be a ball peg but I'm not entirely certain. It feels like it could give out more if this wasn't so stiff. On the side the loincloth, skirt, whatever that is can bend a bit better. Now, let me show you the other accessory he comes with. This is his axe as he appeared in the game. And it's made from two pieces. And that's how you plug it into his hand. You simply It simply comes apart at the middle, as you can see. It's a very specific peg, so it won't go in anyway. You gotta actually look and align it up properly. After which, there you go. You got yourself a finely sculpted axe, I wanna say, definitely beautiful detail in there. It's almost straight, so I'm happy with it. And I do love the detailing on the axe and the paint application is fairly spot on as well. Now, what I wanna do is give you kinda like a over around his loincloth just so you can see how much detail, how much paint, how much sculpt went into this $25 figure. It's honestly amazing that NECA can do this for this price point. Now I know NECA has some quality control issues. It's true, but look at this. This is amazing in all honesty. 
very nice shaded out very nice sculpting very nice paint application and the texturing they did on each of the materials that actually looks like fur so that's super cool and the final accessory he comes with is already sheeted in this uh, well sheet it's a dagger and you get to pull it out in the box it comes outside uh, you got to plug it in and this is like a bone dagger that he's got of some sorts again i didn't play the game so i don't know what kind of role this weapon plays but again you sheet it in there quite nicely he's got a, what appears to be a coin pouch again painted sculpted out beautifully nice detail on it now let's move on to the lower part once again i want to show you the universal joint system that they got going on in the legs again it's fairly standard for NECA and he does have a decent spread again considering that that loincloth on the side kind of gets a little bit in the way but he can spread out about this far if you need more than that well sorry but I think it's pretty good you get a swivel at the top part of the leg as well and you have double jointed knees as so you even have a small armor piece there in the middle so it doesn't look too goofy now the only problem I found is that what material they use for the double jointed knee you see that is a little bit wobbly a little bit flimsy it's not completely rigid plastic is a little bit too flexible and that kind of gets me a little bit scared but i'm sure if you don't like play with it 24 7 it's gonna be just fine so again beautiful articulation at the feet double jointed knees always awesome to see that and again beautiful detailing sculpting the leather straps painted very nicely textured very nicely as well as well as the knee piece over there as for the foot you do get a bit of an ankle pivot from side to side it's a pin hinge joint again and it can go up that far and down that far but the articulation doesn't stop there you also get a toe joint and the joints at the feet and at the toe are particularly stiff so i'm happy about that because it helps you stabilize the figure a bit better so it's finally time to draw our conclusions and I gotta say guys this is one amazing figure for the price point for $25 this sculpt this paint application this articulation and the accessories and the whole package NECA did it again yes like I said before it's true that they have their own issues that is a fair point but in all honesty this is one amazing figure that I highly recommend you guys pick up great bang for the buck. As always, my name is Malazar. Thank you guys for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And we'll see you again next time. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Acest video v-a fost adus de către 101 figurine.ro. Intră și tu acum pe 101 figurine.ro pentru a vizualiza o multitudine de statuete și figurine din universurile tale preferate.